use of corporate insurance plan. And I'll click under client reports. So when you click on client reports, you, uh, you'll see three tabs to look at. First is going to be the report builder, where you will create the report by picking the pages that you want to present to your client. Once you have selected the pages, you can then go under, uh, under report editor, where you're able to make the changes to the reports and the pages that you have included. And finally, you can um, go under report preview, where you're able to review the report in detail. And if you're happy with it, then you can go ahead and generate the PDF. Um, all right. So what I'll do is to make things quick, um, I'll, I'll quickly jump under report editor and show how we can create a snapshot for, for Olivia. So I'm going to first go and make the settings to my original settings. So we have all the pages right here. Now under report builder, you will find the included pages section, which will give you all the pages that you can include in the client reports. Any pages that you see here will be a part of your final report. And then on the right hand side, what you see is the gallery, which provides a detailed library of all the pages that you can include in the client report. Now, if you want to see the details of these pages and what, what exactly does it really have in each of these individual pages, you can hover over these question marks to find a little description of that page or that section. Anything that you see crossed off under the gallery is already included under the pages. So as you would notice, I have all the pages included right now under the included pages section. Now to create the snapshot, it's actually really quick. All I need to do is right beside included pages, I'll click onto the snapshots only button. And that's it. We have the snapshots included and ready to either be generated into a PDF or we can go ahead and customize it further. Now, if in your plan, you do not find the snapshot section under the included pages section, then you can go under the gallery and click under snapshots. And now you will see that it has all the snapshot pages only. Um, it's crossed off in my case as they're already included. And then what you can do is you could either use mouse options. So I'm just hovering over these to show what all options you have. You can either use mouse to drag and drop the snapshot pages from the gallery over to the included section, or you can simply press A plus S under the gallery section and all the pages will move from the gallery to the included pages, which are all under snapshots. As you do that, you will find the snapshot pages are right here. Now, the other pages that you notice are grayed out because we are only focusing on snapshots at this point. And here, my job is done. We created snapshot report for the client and we can now go ahead and download it as a PDF. However, if you want to make any other changes, maybe you wanna change the sequence of the sections or, or the cards in snapshots, you can do that as well by using your mouse and I can maybe make the recommendation summary go at the top or change it again back because I prefer the original settings better. But depending on how you want to present the data to the client, you want each of these cards to show the snap on to show on the snapshot page. You can actually drag and drop the sequence on the snapshot cards. Once we are good with this and happy with the sequence and, and what here we are thinking about presenting, I can simply go ahead and generate the PDF right away. But if you want to make further tweaks, we can go back to report editor, which is our next step. And under the report editor, we'll only find snapshots section. That's, that's the only piece we are presenting. So I'm going to start with the first page. The first page we'll edit is the goal summary. Here you'll find a section that you can use uh, to present to your clients a summary of their goals. Some information, as you have noticed, is pre-populated. However, you can customize the summary by either adding additional text or by adding some dynamic template variables, such as retirement age, retirement year, etc. You can also remove any of these pre-populated text and template variable information. Now, the template variables on the right-hand side are really helpful to get the information from what you initially input under scenario setup and on the planning pages, making it really handy to create information that you want to add for the client. Clicking on the template variable uh, from, with your mouse cursor will place a dynamic value, as I'm doing it right now, into the comments section where your text cursor is located. 
Here is an example on how you can add a line into the summary page using a combination of simple text and a template variable. So I'll create something right here just to add in an extra point. I'll maybe type in additional travel budget starting at, and then I can put in age this in the retirement year. So I want to pick that and that's it. Now, you don't really have to remove or add anything, but you can keep more relevant information um, and add any additional as needed. The main consideration is how large you want that section on the snapshot page to be. As you include more information, more room will be allocated to that specific card in the snapshots. This is applicable to all the cards that you allow to that allows you to enter information right here. Now, the next section we are looking at is a is assumption summary. I did move around a few pages, so, so it has changed for me slightly. Uh, now the assumption page will include other information like client's name, life expectancy, inflation rates, and rates of return. Again, we can use the, the template variables to add any additional information. Finally, I want to look at goal status. So here we are looking at some potential option and what the goal progress is at the very top. It's it's currently blank for me, but we can actually go back to the planning pages and maybe um, share some potential options with our client, Olivia. So when I go under back to planning pages and under click under recommendations, we can run a few calculators um, that we can present onto our goal status uh, page. So I'm gonna click under sustainable spending for Olivia and see how we will reflect this analysis onto our snapshot page. So I'm going to close it and actually come back to client reports under report editor and look at goal status. So it did add an additional point with now saying spending this much more per year because that's an option for Olivia. I'll probably add in another one to share some more um, potential options for her. So maybe leaving a larger estate for the beneficiaries. All right, so there's another additional bullet point I've added in. Now, there are also additional pages and sections that you can review, um, like financial asset flows, net worth statements, um, and, and other pages that you're able to see. Some of these are not editable and simply give us an easy chart to review. Finally, I wanna click on a recommendation summary and maybe add in just a quick few points for Olivia right here. So I'll, I'll copy paste some that I had already created for her and just add them right here. Perfect. All right, and that's it. We have our snapshot customization done. I'll quickly go under report preview to show you how the snapshot will look. It looks really neat and detailed, which is very easy and really concise to present to the clients. And this is a quick two-page summary for Olivia's plan. Now I can go ahead and generate the PDF and share it with her. And this is how you can create a full snapshot. But what if you want to make use of this snapshot and make it a part of your detailed executive report? So if you want to do that, we will go back to the report builder again and probably add in more pages that are relevant to our client's plan and goals. So I'm going to go under included pages and click on no filter. And this will bring back all the pages that I had originally in our included pages section. Now, either you will see pages under the included pages section or under the gallery. I have all the pages right here, so I can basically create a big detailed executive summary, but I still want to remove a few pages and maybe change their sequence based on what's more relevant to my client discussion. Now, I can review the pages that are included right here. It comes with a little description, so it tells us what that page will will have exactly. And I'm going to go ahead and delete a few additional pages. Maybe right here, I'm, I'm not going to look at asset allocation. So all I need to do is select it and delete them. I'm going to add, delete maybe a few other pages right here. Now, another thing you would notice as a part of these pages, we have this corporation, the Evolve Design um, Corporation pages. So for this, I don't want to share so many pages with Olivia. So I'll probably only stick with the net worth statement and the cash flow projection and delete the other two pages. And another thing that I can do now is to change the sequence of it. So I'll move the recommendation details a little bit before our corporation pages. And I'm, I think I'm good with the, with the report. So if 
if you're happy with the pages that you have selected right here, or in this case, the sequence that I'm happy with, I can actually go ahead and select this as a template for any plans that I create in the future. So if I wanna keep this as my sequence save, I need to click save and then go under the defaults button and then click on save the current page settings for new scenario. All right, so if you would notice under defaults, there are a few other options we can look at. We can always use original settings for new scenario. We can come back and reset our or reset the current page settings to save settings. So maybe if I made any changes and I don't like the sequence, I can go back to my template settings or even reset the page to the original settings as well. Now you will find our default button in different pages in the reports. You can create templates under those report, those pages and it will make your report creation process a lot less time consuming for all the future reports that you make for your clients. Now let's quickly review some other options that we'll find under the report builder page. So you can add in a custom page. So under custom pages section, we can add in a custom page, which will create a blank page for you to input any additional information that you want in a separate page for your client. So I'm gonna delete this and look at the next option. We have header settings. So you can also edit any header setting, add in any custom text right here, which is especially very helpful if you're creating multiple plans and sharing them with your clients. And lastly, we have printer settings where you can edit the report to set it correctly before printing out the reports. Now, we can next go under report editor. <clears throat> so here you will see from the first page until the very end, including the snapshots. So we are able to review all of these pages. Um, we can add in a logo right here. Again, we have the default buttons to make, make changes and select these. Now, if you prefer working with very similar information and want to create templates for yourself and just need to make a few probably details for, for you know, different clients, you can do that and set it as a default. Note that the default option is not applicable on all the pages. You only get few pages um, that have default settings where you can create templates. They're mainly the ones that where you can add in text and make any changes. Now, because Anu, everything sorry. else- Can yeah. I just jump in for a sec? For um, sure, yeah. Just to discuss again the defaults there, we've had a couple of questions. Um, so when you create, if you can highlight the defaults and what those options are, we'll just talk about them one by one here. Yeah, for sure. So if we save the current page settings for new scenarios, that means that anytime you add a new client or you create a brand new scenario for an existing client, that will be what you see automatically on this page is whatever you've set here as your saved current page settings. But if you end up going onto an existing client or you've copied a scenario and, and you want to use what you've saved as your settings, then you're gonna say reset current page to saved settings. Mm -hmm. So you can always pull in the, the settings that you've saved or the other options have to do with original settings. So we let you go back to the defaults that uh, are from the beginning. And this would be, for example, including um, all pages in your report if you're under the included pages. So it, it gets you back everything. Um, and in, in an order that, makes sense uh, for snapshots as well. So that's a great one to use if you just want to kind of go back to original settings. And then if you always want to use the original settings for any new scenario that you create, then you would use that option. Always use those. Awesome. Thanks, Lee. Um, all right. So yeah, and like I said, you will find these uh, default options in, in a few of the the pages where you can add in any text and keep that for as a template for your future reports. Now, what I want to do in this case is maybe go under recommendation details and, and perfect. We have some notes right here. So I can again select default and, and maybe um, keep it as a template for myself. And once we're happy with what we have as a report for this client, <clears throat> we can go under report preview and take a quick look at the detailed executive summary for this client. Now, again, this could be more, more detailed as, as much as you want. I only included a few pages and even removed a few. However, you can create a detailed executive summary with, again, as many pages as you want. Now, as I'm happy with this report, I can now go ahead and generate a PDF by clicking onto it and review it. And that will give us all, and that has given us all the complete steps for creating a report for the client, including including the snapshots here. 
Now, I hope you found this useful and ready to create reports using snapshots in your client plans right away.